Mark Raritan and the Reavers look to bounce back against number six, Yavapai. Scoreless in the top of the second, watch this. Off of Iowa Western starter, Jackson Pugh, snagged by Ryan Merrill, and it's in time. Pugh goes three innings, two hits, no runs. Michael Klein takes over. The freshman right-hander with one of his four strikeouts. Still scoreless in the bottom of the fifth, Alex Krupa with his only hit of the game. After a Jake Scudder walk, Dom Thompson-Williams. Jack's a three-run bomb. The Reavers had been held scoreless in the previous 10 innings. Next batter, Tyler Cropley. Goes opposite field. Back-to-back -back home runs. Iowa Western leads at four nothing after five. The Rough Riders just four hits overall. Here in the seventh, Alex Cruz rips the solo shot to left center to cut it to three, but that's it. Michael Klein goes six innings, gives up just two hits and a run. Reavers eliminate Yavapai. Coming in the tournament, I knew I should be hitting the ball because uh, the past couple games I've been starting to get back on it. But um, kind of a slow start, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it any day for it to happen today. So. I've been a starter my whole life, and then, I mean, we've got so much talent on this team. Being out of the pen, I mean, I, it's humbling. I, I get what I've been taking, and then I do the best I can. If you're going to win 54 games and at one point win 36 in a row, you've got to have those guys that come out of the pen and solidify it for the betterment of the team, and that's Michael's been one of those guys. So after the 4-1 to win over Yavapai, Reaver Baseball advances to the next round, but... Can they stay alive after their next opponent? For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Zach Harper Blunt.